So, ayun, welcome back. Nandito na naman tayo para mag-review para sa inyong upcoming civil service examination. In this video, ay magbibigay ako ng ilang math problems. Ngunit pakatandaan na huwag i-memorize ang mga given problems na ibibigay ko. Bagkos, i-familiarize ang mga steps and procedures kung paano ito isolve. Kasi, logically speaking, hindi naman po talaga lalabas ang mga examples na ibinibigay sa mga reviewers. Kahit ngayon sa mga book reviewers eh. Dahil kung magkagayon, exam leakage na po yun. And again, ang procedures po ang tandaan kung paano isolve. Do not memorize. Okay, simulan na natin. Question number 1. 17 raised to the power of 3.5 multiplied by 17 raised to the power of x which is equal to 17 raised to the power of 8. Try to solve the problem by pausing the video and choose the letter that corresponds to your answer. Okay, time's up. Have you solved the problem? What do you think is the answer? As what you can see, meron po tayong exponent sa ating problem. So we need the laws of exponent. And if you want to learn more about the laws of exponent, just visit the description box below for the link of the video. Now, let's go back to our problem. When you encounter this kind of exponential problem, that means product with the same basis. So, once na pareho sila ng base, all you have to do is to add their exponents, as long as ang operation is multiplication. As what you can see in our problem, same naman sila ng base, which is 17. So, ang gagawin natin dito is i a add lang po natin yung kanilang exponent. So, this will become 3.5 plus x equals 8. So, let's perform basic algebra operation. So, we have to transpose 3.5 and we have x equals 8 minus 3.5. That means our x is equals to 4.5. So, you can check this one in your calculator for us to verify if our answer is correct. As I check in my calculator, if we multiply 17 raised to the power of 3.5 by 17 raised to the power of 4.5, that is equal to 6,975,757,441. That means if we will multiply 17 by itself up to 8 times, this is equal to the same number. Therefore, the correct answer is letter D, 4.5. Next problem, we have 256 raised to the power of 0.16 multiplied by 256 raised to the power of 0.09. What do you think is the answer? Is it 4, 16, 64, or 256.25? As we all know, based sa law of exponents that the product of the same bases, let's add their exponent. So, i-add lang po natin yung kanilang exponent. That means 0 0.16 plus 0 0.09 and that is equal to 0.25. Now, 256 raised to the power of 0 0.25 is the same as 256 raised to the power of 25 over 100. So, ginawa lang po nating fractional ang decimal form. So, if we will simplify this into its lowest term, this means that 25 over 100 is equal to 1 over 4 or 1 fourth. This means that 256 raised to the power of 25 over 100 is also the same as 256 raised to the power of 1 fourth. So, if we try to change this 256 into its exponential form, that means it is 4 raised to the power of 4. Since 256 is just equal to 4 raised to the power of 4. Refer back to the laws of exponent. That means we have a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n is just equal to a raised to the power of m times n. Bakit nga ba kailangan nating baguhin yung 256 into its exponential form? Of course, para magamit natin yung law of exponent, which is power raised to a power. Ibig sabihin nito, if we have a number a or yung base raised to a power and raised again to a power, that means this is equal to a raised to the power of m times n. So, imumultiply yung kanilang powers. 
So ang ibig sabihin pala nito, yung exponent na 4 ay imumultiply natin sa 1 fourth. So that means 4 times 1 fourth and that is equal to 1. So this is equal to 4 raised to the power of 1 or just simply 4. Therefore, the correct answer is letter A. Now let's proceed with number 3. Find the quotient of 10 raised to the power of 150 and 10 raised to the power of 146. Since we are going to divide this exponent, so we have to use the quotient rule. The quotient rule is a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is just equal to a raised to the power of m minus n. So we have to subtract their exponents. This will work so long they have the same base. As what we can see in the problem, they have the same base. So we just need to subtract their exponents. Therefore, 150 minus 146 and that is equal to 4. So this is 10 raised to the power of 4. 10 raised to the power of 4 is simply 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 or just 10,000. So for this problem, the correct answer is letter B, 10,000. Next example, we have 25 raised to the power of 7.5 multiplied by 5 raised to the power of 2.5 and divided by 125 raised to the power of 1.5 and which is equal to 5 raised to the power of x. Remember the laws of exponents that when multiplying two different terms with the same base, ang gagawin is i-add ang kanilang mga exponents. At kapag division naman, Tapos same yung base, just simply subtract their exponents. So in this case, we will be adding these two exponents and also subtracting these two here. But before that, kailangan muna natin i-consider na dapat ang kanilang mga base ay magkapareho. So, what makes 25 to have a base of 5? Yes, you're right, it's 5 squared. And we will not change this anymore since it has already a base of 5. And what makes 125 to have a base of 5? Yes, that's it. It's 5 cubed. Since 5 times 5 times 5 is just 125. As you can see, magkapareho na po sila ng mga base. And let's do the rule of exponents. Remember that a to the m to the power of n is just equal to a raised to the power of m times n. So we have 2 times 7.5 is just 15. Therefore, it will become 5 to the power of 15. Let's just copy this one. Then, divided by 5 raised to the power of 4.5 since 3 times 1.5 is 4.5 and this all equal to 5 to the x. So, let's copy 5 which is the base raised to the power of 15 plus 2.5 minus 4.5 15 plus 2.5 and that is equal to 17.5 and 17.5 minus 4.5 and that is equal to 13 and therefore this is equal to 5 raised to the power of 13 and equal to 5 raised to the power of x since they have the same base, so we have also to equate their exponent. And this is equal to x equals 13. The correct answer is letter B. Last number we have 0 0.04 raised to the power of negative 1.5. What do you think is the answer? Try to pause the video and solve the problem. First, we need to transform this decimal form into its fractional form. So this 0 0.04 is equal to 4 over 100. Kasi kung bibilangin natin yung decimal places from this point to 4, we have tens, hundreds. Therefore, this is correct over 100 since ito ay nasa hundreds na place value. And this is raised to the power of negative 1.5. Now, let's simplify this 4 over 100 into its lowest form. So we have 1 over 25. And at the same time, this negative 1.5, we will transform this into its fractional form. 
negative 1.5 is the same as 3 halves or 3 divided by 2. Since 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. So we have 1 over 25 raised to the power of negative 3 halves. Now let's refer to the law of exponent which is the negative exponent rule. Kasi meron tayong negative na exponent dito. So meaning kapag meron tayong negative exponent, so halimbawa a raised to the power of negative m. That is equal to 1 over a to the power of m. Meaning, we will have to reciprocate. Kapag sinabi natin reciprocate, pagbabalik ta rin natin ang pwesto, yung numerator at denominator. Ang ibig sabihin nito, yung 1 over 25 ay magiging 25 over 1. Or just simply 25. So, meaning, this is 25 raised to the power of 3 halves. At yung negative signs sa exponent ay magiging positive na. 25 is the same as 5 squared, so we have 5 squared raised to the power of 3 halves. So we will use here power of a power rule, so we have 2 times 3 halves and that is 3, so 5 cube. 5 cube is equal to 125, therefore the correct answer is letter B, 125. I hope na marami kayong natutunan sa ating video today. Huwag po kalimutang mag-subscribe if you are new here and share this video to your friends who prefer to review online. That's all for this video. See you next time.